Hey guys! So today I'm just going to be doing a review and first impression of the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I got a micro peel and my skin got really dry and really flaky, which I am not used to. I'm usually very, very oily. So all of my matte foundations were doing my skin no justice. So a friend of mine recommended this and I decided I would just go ahead and try it out for you guys on camera. So let's just get right into it. First, I'm just going to prep my face with this step one Makeup Forever Primer, um, the hydrating primer. Usually I would go for a mattifying one, but once again, I'm still kind of dealing with my dry skin. So I'm going to put that all over my face. Then I'm going in with the shade Natural Beige. Um, and I'm going to put this all over my face with a beauty blender. And first off, I know that I love that this thing has a pump because most of my other foundations, you either have to like shake it out and then it gets all over your hands and everything. So I am just going to dot this all over my face. And when they first color matched me with this one, I was like, I am not that tan, but we'll see. We'll make it work if not. I don't know if you guys ever have used that uh, color IQ at Sephora, but I swear mine is never consistent. Like, I would say I have a natural or neutral undertone, but sometimes it pulls like really olive on that skin IQ, and then sometimes it pulls really pink. So, I don't know. I guess that means I'm neutral, but wherever they're trying it, it's just not working out. I'm actually just going to squeeze some more. I don't know how much I need. I don't know. I didn't really do my research to see how full coverage it is, so we'll just dot it on and see what we get. I would say this is medium coverage. I feel like you could probably build it up to full coverage, but like I can still see some pink on my cheeks and I can still see my freckles shining through. And typically I like a full coverage foundation. That's just what I've always worn in the past because I have so many freckles. But I don't mind the medium coverage because it's making everything look very flawless and kind of camouflaging the redness. And if you've tried this foundation, leave your reviews below and let me know how you like it and if you like applying it with a beauty blender or if you apply it with a foundation brush. Today I decided to just go in with my beauty blender because that's what I typically use and it's usually a no-fail technique. So I think that gave pretty good coverage. Um, I think the color is maybe a little yellow for me. Um, at least it's showing up more yellow on camera, I think, than it is to me, like looking in the mirror. But um, we'll go in with like highlighter and stuff and bronzer and see if it kind of looks more my color at the end. Um, I am going to try to pump a couple more spots just where I have some more redness and see if you can build it up to full coverage because um, I don't know. Oh yeah, I definitely think you could turn this into a full coverage foundation if you wanted. That definitely covered it up more and it doesn't look cakey or anything, so that's always a plus. Say hi to Miss Belly back there. She never comes out for my videos. My little tater. All right, so I like it. I mean, I definitely think I have foundations that have fuller coverage, but I don't really have any foundations that have a natural finish. Um, they're definitely more matte, and I would say this is satin finish um, between matte and satin I don't know but it definitely isn't clean to my dry patches so far and it doesn't seem to be settling into my pores or anything too much 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face and then I will come back and give you my final review. Okay, so I have all of my um, face products on and I went ahead and did my brows as well. I haven't done my eyeshadow or anything, but I think I love this foundation. Um, I'm going to wear it throughout the day and then I'll leave my final um, thoughts in the description box below just letting you know if it like slip and slid all day or if it stayed in place and like all that and I'm actually going to Zumba tonight so I will see if it can even like withstand sweat. I'll probably feel really weird going with like a full face of makeup but I'll do it for you guys. So definitely make sure to check the description box below to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, but like looking in my viewfinder, like I feel like my skin has never looked better. And like even in my mirror, it looks like flawless, but it still looks like my skin. Like I can still see some of my freckles and like some imperfections and stuff, but it just like evened out my skin tone and like my makeup on top of it is wearing really, really well as well. So hopefully that will stand up through the day and we will have a winner with this foundation. Um, but that is actually the end of this video. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, definitely leave me your comments and thoughts on this foundation below. I would love to hear them. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.